Hey, it's Dr. Brian Mole, the Diabetes Coach, with another Diabetes Coach on the Go episode. And today I want to talk to you about the difference between eating fat and being fat. There's a lot of confusion out there about dietary fat and body fatness connected to insulin resistance and ultimately type 2 diabetes. Much of this comes from low-fat enthusiasts, oftentimes from a plant-based, vegan, or vegetarian perspective. And the idea here is that being over fat, having too much body fat, leads to insulin resistance, drives inflammation, and ultimately contributes or even causes type 2 diabetes, dysglycemia, high blood sugar, metabolic syndrome, and the whole host of diabetes or metabolic dysfunction spectrum problems. And all of that is absolutely true. So having too much body fatness, particularly in the visceral fat or ectopic fat, fat that accumulates in the muscles or in the organs like the liver and particularly the pancreas, does in fact cause insulin resistance, dries inflammation, I call it angry fat, it's inflammatory fat, releases inflammatory cytokines or messengers that drive the inflammation process and interrupts insulin signaling. So when the insulin molecule binds to its receptor on the cell, there's a cascade, a reaction that happens, and intracellular fat and cytokines, inflammatory cytokines, both can interfere or block that signal, leading to an insulin resistance. And then, of course, the glucose can't get into the cell, whether that's a muscle cell, heart cell, fat cell, liver cell, brain cell, or what have you, and our blood sugar goes up. The amount of glucose in the blood increases. Ultimately, that's diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. So here's where the confusion comes in. Oftentimes, you'll hear that because elevated free fatty acids in the blood or being over fat, having too much body fatness causes all these problems, then eating fat must also be a problem. And see, this is where things fall flat and don't add up. Because eating fat does not always lead to too much body fatness or too many free fatty acids in the bloodstream. In fact, for most people, it's overeating carbohydrate that drives body fatness, drives up insulin levels, prevents us from burning fat effectively, so the fatty acids accumulate in the bloodstream, leading to all of these problems. But the real cause is not too much fat, it's not too much carbs, it's the overconsumption of energy, period. Overeating, overconsuming energy, high energy, low nutrient value foods. That's what really drives body fatness, drives inflammation, and leads to type 2 diabetes. So what is the solution? The solution is not slashing your fat intake. You want to eat fat. You just want to eat high quality, healthy fats, monounsaturated fats like olives and avocados, olive oil if you want to use some oil. Monounsaturated fats also are prominent in meats like chicken and poultry, for example. Many nuts and seeds are loaded with monounsaturated fats like macadamia nuts. Certain polyunsaturated fats, particularly the omega-3 fats from fish, shellfish, grass-fed beef, omega-3 enriched eggs, certain nuts and seeds like walnuts, flax and chia, have a good proportion of omega-3 polyunsaturated fats. And those are really healthy, anti-inflammatory, critical essential fatty acids. Some people can tolerate saturated fats really well. Others have a harder time tolerating saturated fats. We do genetic testing, which really helps us to pinpoint what kind of fats are going to be best for you, as well as how you process carbohydrate. 
The key though here really is to prioritize protein. Make sure you get enough high quality protein. The highest quality protein comes from animal sources, so things like grass-fed beef, bison, and other game meats, organic eggs, poultry, chicken, and turkey, wild-caught fish, clean sources of seafood, and organic pork. You can also get protein from a really good quality protein powder, like a plant-based protein powder if you're a vegan or vegetarian. Algae like spirulina and chlorella have a high amount of protein per weight. Beans and legumes, if you can tolerate the, the starch. And nuts and seeds have a lot of protein too. So the bottom line is prioritize protein, minimize your carbohydrate intake, particularly refined processed carbohydrates, added starches and sugars, as well as carbs that have high amounts of natural sugar and starch. We want to minimize those, prioritize protein, and make sure we're getting the right amount of healthy natural fat and not overdoing it. So eating fat does not cause body fatness. Eating fat, dietary fat, does not lead to insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. Elevated body fatness, however, does. So we don't want to be fat. We don't want to be over fat. We want to be as lean as possible, have the highest percentage of lean body mass per fat mass as we can, which means get some exercise, eat a high quality diet, and do some energy restriction to help you burn the stored body fat, particularly the liver, visceral fat, pancreatic fat, organ fat, the fat that's stored in your muscles. Burn that fat so you become more insulin sensitive, reduce inflammation, and your body gets much more metabolically healthy. All right, I hope you found that helpful. This is Dr. Brian Mole, the Diabetes Coach, with another Diabetes Coach on the Go episode. If you like this, make sure you click the thumbs up right down below this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already so you don't miss any of these videos when I release them. I'm going to be doing these a lot more often. So click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when my new videos come out. All right, thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.